Well, the Illinois Department of Public Health reported more than 3,300 new confirmed and probable COVID-19 cases today and nine new deaths. But the department is also concerned about a recent surge in RSV and influenza heading into the colder months. WGEM Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich is live in Springfield tonight with the latest. Mike. Daniel McKenzie, good evening. IDPH officials have consistently told the public they should get up to date on vaccines, but we're still seeing a surge in respiratory illness this winter. There are more than 1,600 Illinoisans hospitalized for COVID-19 related illness right now. 187 of them are in the ICU and 67 are on ventilators. IDPH Assistant Director Amal Tokars told the State Board of Health today that only 20% of Illinoisans have received the COVID-19 bivalent booster. There are 12 counties listed at the high community transmission level and 51 at medium risk for COVID-19 spread. We're bubbling up here, there and everywhere and that we will see very likely if this continues a rise in levels around the state. Dr. Tokar says people should be wearing masks in indoor public spaces and large crowds. That recommendation could be included in Governor J.B. Pritzker's next COVID-19 disaster declaration and executive order. A spokesperson for the governor's office says that new declaration was just filed tonight and it could be online by late tonight or tomorrow. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Multich, WGM News.